the gift of life is a very special gift to all of us because who is the giver of life but God himself? The sacredness of my life, the sacredness of your life, it comes from God. Right? We say that right in the Our Father, right? Hallowed be thy name. Right? That, that word hallowed means to make holy and that God is the one who makes us holy. All life has dignity from the moment of conception until the moment of natural death. It's a culture of life because it goes across the age spans, all phases, all stages. Life is a gift. It truly is. Yes, in the Gospel of John, you know, uh, we hear that Jesus says he came to give us life, but not just life, life abundantly, right? So the truth is that life is, is beautiful, it's sacred, it's essential. It's not repeatable. It's, every person is unique. From the moment we are conceived to the moment that Christ calls us home, we have this this deep dignity because we're made in the image and likeness of God. You need to realize that every life is important, that every life should have the chance to live, to grow, to change if it's necessary, or to pay for what they've done, but pay for what they've done while alive. I think it's important for each Christian to recognize that they are, they are the defenders of human dignity. They are the defenders of human life. Jesus came to save humanity and we're called to participate in saving humanity with Him. We can't just be what's good for our family and that's it. We have to do what's good for society too. We have to be that light. To change hearts is just more revealing the truth to them, the truth of the life of Jesus Christ, the life of God. As we journey towards heaven, we are called to be transformed by the renewal of our minds, to understand more deeply, to enrich our faith, to learn more about our faith, to let our faith inspire everything that we do. It's about growing, it's about changing, it's about believing. Culture of life isn't just abortion, it's people living a dignified life, people having employment, elderly having what they need. The homeless, those who are chronically ill, those even as they age, right, and have been struggling with dementia and Alzheimer's, those who are in nursing homes and in hospice, we're called to to be able to be with them and to remind them of who they are, remind them of the, their sacredness and the, the gift of their life, that they're not a burden and that they're still cherished. We live in a culture that despises suffering, a culture that wants us to find some solution to get rid of suffering. And the most important thing for us as Christians is that we don't run away from suffering, rather we enter into our suffering. We do not have straight answers of why we suffer, but what we do know is that the Lord is with us in our suffering. We do know that when we suffer, we can look to the cross and unite our suffering with the Lord's. And to anyone who has ever um, experienced an abortion, I want you to recognize that you are loved, that there's always an opportunity to receive mercy, healing, to always receive the mercy of God. There's no sin that is greater than God's love. The mercy of the Lord is at the very forefront of the gospel message. It's not about being condemned, but about being able to be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And how many conversions began just by Jesus' look of love, of compassion and forgiveness. The Lord's healing is for everybody. Jesus makes it really simple. If you love me, you'll follow my commandments. What are his commandments? To love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. We don't need to cast a vote until we understand where our hearts should take us. And where our hearts should take us is, God is the author of all life, from conception to natural death. We need to preserve human life at every cost. Eliminating life is not a solution to any problem. Education is, is the key, I think, uh, to making sure everybody's aware. It does begin in your own family. It, it really does, with your own children, with your inner circle your friends. This is a work that everyone's called to. Even if I impact one person, <laughs> that's a win for me. At times, you may not, what I'll, I'll call a win, you have planted a seed and pray for conversion. For every single person in Central Florida to know that they're loved and that they're cherished by God, I believe that's really the mission of our culture of life. If you deeply love the Lord and His church and you deeply care about spreading the message of his love to the world, this is something important to take part in. Be courageous. 
You were not called to live in this world. You were called to live in eternity with God. All life. All life. All, all life. life. All life is sacred. Is sacred. Sacred. All life is sacred.